Alright, I got a new uh, project fluke meter here. This is my oldest one yet. This is the uh, 8000A with a battery uh, option. That's a little battery test thing here. So, uh, uh, let's open it up and see what's inside of it. Now well, that I didn't expect. It's still got the uh, NICAD batteries in it. I wonder if they're any good. Maybe I'll pull those out and check. But, uh, they don't look too, too old. Let's see. Let's find out. Well, I got this plugged in. And when you plug it in, this little light comes on. Maybe that might be part of the charging circuit. I don't know. It looks the schematic. But uh, these do, they're pretty dead, but they do seem to be getting a charging level voltage, about 1.4 volts. And uh, with it turned on, if you unplug it, it still does work. So it looks like those batteries are have some charge in them. So I'll go ahead and turn this off so it charges better and uh, I'll let them charge up and then start doing a cleaning and uh, testing. But at least to get a display. So the LEDs seem to be working. Excellent. Alright, a couple things I've discovered. Number one, uh, two of these batteries these two back ones are dead. They'll charge up, or seem to charge up, but as soon as you turn uh, the charging power off with the meter turned on, they immediately start dropping down in voltage to down to nothing. These two front ones seem to be okay, so I'll probably just get four new uh, ICAD D cells just to have this thing be able to operate on uh, battery power. I think that'd be cool. And the other issue I'm having is that, see right now I've got the uh, inputs shorted together, so this should read zero volts. And it seems to be off by whatever this value is. And this varies depending on how long you have the meter turned on. So um, it generally goes down as the meter warms up. So there's some issue there. This is, you're supposed to be able to adjust this pot right here. Where's my finger? There it is. Uh, and zero that out. You're supposed to put it on DC volts and that range, that 200 uh, milliamp range, and you should be able to adjust this pot to get a zero display. And see as I adjust it, you get no change. So there's something, something goofy in there. And that's right here. Here's the, uh, there's that pot right there, and it's between uh, plus and minus 15, which those two voltages are there on that pot. So I will go ahead and so it just goes, it goes through that resistor, connects to pin one of the analog chip, U3, and then through a one ohm resistor to ground. So I'll go ahead and pull those resistors and see if they're all okay. And uh, go from there. Alright, with the leads shorted and this on uh, 200 millivolts, you should see right at zero volts. And uh, that seems to be working now. Um, but when you, f you have to let this thing warm up, um, I think this. Uh, Chip right here is temperature sensitive. Um, you know, initially when you turn it on, it's off, but uh, after you let it warm up for a few minutes, it uh, starts reading accurately. So, you know, none of these chips are available anymore. So I don't want to mess around with that too much. I'm just going to let that uh, let that go as is. I pulled the batteries off and have uh, new NICAD batteries one order so we'll be able to get this thing running on batteries again not really essential but and since it originally ran on battery power also thought that'd be nice well let me hook this up to a power source and see how it's doing okay so 
hooked up to a DC power source. It's reading uh, 14.7879. And my other vintage uh, blue can L is reading 14.76. So I think that's about as close as I'm going to get this old uh, beast. I have measured uh, it on um, uh, resistance and uh, also AC ohms and it's fairly close. So uh, I think that's where uh, I'm going to leave it. I have tweaked on you know, the adjustments over here to get it as close as I can. Just on the uh, DC voltage and the resistance, the other ones seem to be fairly close, so I won't mess with them. So that's where it'll stand for now. I'll go ahead and maybe put it back in the case, see how she works, and uh, wait for those batteries to arrive. Okay, I think I'm going to kind of give up on this uh, zero, uh, zeroing the meter out with the they call it zero offset or whatever with the inputs shorted it's about as, as good as I can get it starts off with a high reading there of maybe you know half a volt or so and then uh, slowly as the thing heats up it gets down to zero and when it's at zero it meters 100% accurate now I can speed up that process by using the heat gun here to heat up this general section right here but uh, then I've tried using free spray to cool stuff back down and it doesn't change anything. And you can turn this off for two seconds and back on again. Here, let's demonstrate it. It's right at about 0 0.0, 0 0.1. So turn it off for two or three seconds. Back on and you see how it's up high again. So that's not a heat thing. Uh, there is a little troubleshooting chart that I've gone through. I won't go through the whole thing, but basically it says to uh, check these two little uh, transistors here, which is part of the uh, ohms circuit, and this IC right here, which is the uh, analog chip. So I've done that because I have them. Um, this, I don't think it's available anymore. I think that's kind of a custom, I mean, it's not a custom part, but I'm not sure you can get those anymore. So that's about as far as I can go. So I've tried swapping out a number of different things in the this general area, like that capacitor there. That tantalum actually failed when I was hitting it with heat, so I had to put a I stole one from right there next to the light bulb and put a uh, electrolytic in there and then move that tantalum over here just because there's not enough physical room to put a you know a uh, electrolytic in there so and uh, so I got a few dead parts here here's that capacitor that was out of range there's the two uh, transistors that I swapped out and there's the shorted tantalum so, but none of that has really made a difference in how this meter works. So what I think I'm going to do is just use it as is. I'm going to put the batteries in. And I think the heat that this generates, because that light bulb stays on all the time, because that's part of the charging circuit, um, I think that will keep the inside of the meter warm enough that when you want to use it, it'll, uh, it'll be ready. I'll find out in a couple of days when I get the batteries uh, replaced and uh, installed. But right now, when this thing is at about this level here, after it's been on a while, it tracks very, very well with the other old fluke meters that I have. So, it'll be fun to have. So, let me wait another uh, day or two for those batteries to come in. We'll come back and finish this thing up. Alright, got the brand new NICAD batteries in there. Those are big old D cells. It runs this thing for several hours on battery. And uh, although I'm still having some issues with the offset voltage, right now it seems to be working. It's measuring uh, 9.75 and the Fluke uh, A7 9.74. So let's try cranking up the voltage here a little bit on the... Let's 
go up to about 15. 1496, 1495, a little bit more. There should be about 20. 1991, 1990. Wow, pretty good. Let's go all the way up on the power supply. Have to go up a range. 28.8. The auto range here, manual range here, 28.8. So, uh, let's try going way down the voltage. Let's go down to just a volt or so. Get this back off. 0 0.716. 0 0.715. Well, that's a 1.6. So, really accurate. Um. Hopefully this stays like this. If it does, I'll go ahead and put the top on it and uh, put it in use. Looks like she's working. Alright, it's all back in its case. Reading uh, fairly accurately. 19.8, 19.79, 19.8. Stays at about this level, I'll be happy. So I guess I'm gonna end the video here. It's on battery power. Oh, let me prove that. I'll turn off the power strip that's plugged into. And look at that, it keeps working. So that will be the end of the video on this old uh well, I'd say late 70s, early 80s vintage Fluke uh, 8000A with the BU backup, battery backup option. Working and working fairly accurately. So uh, another good one for the uh, Fluke collection. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.